This tub of water is going to help us to see the acceleration of an object that's moving both in a straight line and in a circle. And physicists would call it a liquid accelerometer. The liquid itself is going to give us an indication of acceleration. This is how it works. If I place this tub of water on these cars and I allow the tub of water to roll at constant speed, the water surface level remains nice and flat. But if I accelerate the tub of water to the right, the water surface level is going to make a specific shape. So take a look at the very beginning of the acceleration and see what the water surface level does. Three, two, one. Did you see the water slosh back this way? And then I'll try it in the other direction, now accelerating to the left. Again, watch that water surface level. Three, two, one. A little more dramatic that time. So we can say that the water is always going to slosh in the opposite direction of the acceleration of the tub. Well, if the water always sloshes opposite the direction of the tub's acceleration, then what happens if I spin the tub into a circle? This is going to help us to see what's true of an object that's moving in circular motion. So as I begin to spin this, you should be able to see a U shape. Right? Sort of a half pipe shape. That half pipe shape that the water is forming is telling us that the water is actually accelerating in two directions at the same time. The water on this side that's sloshing up this way is accelerating to the right. The water on this side that's sloshing up this way is accelerating to the left. And when they're doing it at the same time, we can say that the water is accelerating towards the center of the spin. Similarly, when the tub is in this position, the water in the front is sloshing up this way. The water in the back is sloshing up that way. So those two ends of the tub are accelerating this way, which is again towards the center. That center-directed acceleration is called centripetal acceleration, and it will always be true of any object that's moving in a circle, always accelerating towards the center of that circle, which is the centripetal direction.